Let's talk about the truth. The truth often is something that will disturb us greatly because it will be different from our opinions that we might have held for a lifetime. And yet when we spiritually learn the truth, it uplifts us if we're willing to be uplifted in that moment. In John 8, verse 32, it says, You shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. It'll make you free from the opinions and the beliefs and the old angers that have held you down for too long. God is linked with the truth, and God's Word teaches the truth. God's Spirit reveals the truth and will lead us in the truth. The difficult truth about truth is that it often requires us to change our own perspectives, our own attitudes, and our own rules for living. God reveals in a moment of truth, and we come to understand the truth about ourselves and the truth that is with a capital T about God and about God's gift of grace. The familiar words that I quoted from John 8.32 remind us that when we come into God's truth, we are liberated. So oftentimes, we form an opinion, and then in that opinion, and it can be about anything, about life in general, about a certain thing about life, even about religion and our faith. And we tend to cement that belief around our own minds. And then we find that we cannot escape, that we're indeed held in a prison, and we're the prisoner. And when we learn the truth, it can be very disturbing at first because it is so much different than we have invested so much time in believing. And yet, in that moment of time, we're lifted out of the crusty old exterior that we have formed around ourselves, and we have made ourselves free. This day, as you go about the tasks that God has placed before you, ask yourself the question, do your thoughts and your actions bear witness to the ultimate truth that God has placed in your heart? Or are you allowing the pressures of everyday life to overwhelm you? Determine to line up your entire life, your entire belief system with God's truth, and you will indeed be free. God bless you.